again, it's Mr. Rao. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion with rational and irrational numbers. If you remember from last time, a rational number is simply any number that can be written as a ratio of p divided by q, where both p and q are integers, but remember q cannot equal zero because you can't divide by zero. So let's take a look at some rational numbers. And really in our day-to-day -day life, most numbers that we come across with are rational. However, there are infinitely more irrational numbers in the universe than there are rational numbers. But again, the things that we use day-to-day -day are mainly the rational numbers. So let's look at some examples. Well, the first thing, the first kind of category I would say of rational numbers are just the simple whole numbers that we used to. The number four, for example. Even though this isn't written as a ratio, it's not written as a fraction just yet, I can easily put a one underneath that without changing the value. This is still four, it's four divided by one, but I can turn it into a fraction so that becomes a rational number. Obviously anything in fractional form is rational, so if I have the fraction five-sevenths, for example, that's rational because it's already written as a ratio. So all fractions are rational as well. Perfect squares. Um, remember a square root, if I have the square root of 25, for example, I'm thinking to myself, what number times itself will give me 25? And we probably know that that number is 5 because 5 times itself, 5 times 5 is 25. So even though we don't really necessarily think of this being the exact same as this, they really are. So the square root of 25 is really just 5. And just like our last whole number, I can put a 1 underneath this and turn that into a fraction. So perfect squares are also categorized as rational numbers. And then we can look at decimals, numbers that have decimals in them. For example, the decimal 0 0.75. 75 hundredths is also a rational number. I know that this, and a lot of us know that if we have 3 quarters, we have 75 cents. So that equals the fraction 3 over 4. But it's also true that this, this decimal here, it doesn't go on and on. It ends after that 5. If I were to write more digits, the only digits I could add would be zeros. So this is called a terminating decimal. Because it terminates, it ends after that 5. Or again, it goes on forever with zeros only. So all terminating decimals are rational as well. They can all be written as fractions. But also some decimals that don't terminate, some decimals that go on forever and ever and ever, not in zeros and other, other digits, those are also rational. And those are decimals that have repeating patterns. So for example, I could write the decimal 0 0.333, you know, and that's just repeating forever and ever and ever. And a lot of us know that that's equal or equivalent to the fraction one-thirds. So decimals that are written in repeating form or decimals that terminate are also rational numbers. Thanks for watching.